It's Bonnie. Happy Saturday. I am back. I didn't get to mow the lawn today. It is lightning within 10 miles, which means I don't want to be out there mowing the lawn. <laughs> I was really hoping it would clear up. I need to get the lawn mowed. It really um, grew a lot this week. So I decided to stay inside, clean a little bit in here. I've got a candle going from homework. So that's coming up a little bit later but first i gotta talk about bath and body works vanilla confetti sparkle i was gonna wait until i got the cream but um i just ordered it today i actually did my order i got my free candle you guys i have um the warm apple pie coming i cannot wait to get my hands on that one i love it every year it's so good um and I think I got a really good deal. I actually did the body care. I did buy three, get three. And then I had a $35 gift card. So I was like, woohoo, I did good. I got the free shipping. I was reading some of my comments and a few people are saying they couldn't get um, the glowing gift code to take. Unfortunately, um, if you're not signed in as an app rewards member, it won't let you use the code. I'm hoping tomorrow this free candle is just available to everyone and um, it won't be an issue. We shall see. But it seems like many of you have been able to do multiple orders and I'm seeing a lot of you uh, doing store pickups. So that's good news. I still think this is a really good deal uh, to get one free candle um, with the candle sale going on. It really brings the price down. So that was really good news. So I got one order in. I may do a second order. I'm like, hmm, <laughs> this is too good of a deal to pass up. So we got to talk about Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. This is part of the summer collection that includes, I'm not even organized here, um, the, <laughs> the Pink Watermelon Blast, which I'm getting the cream on that one too, the Berry Waffle Cone, and the firecracker pop and what's interesting is aside from the pink watermelon blast which I don't even know yet I haven't even looked at it yet um, I'm not sure if that is a repackage or not I will get to that one because I don't have the mist yet all I have is the shower gel in that one obviously uh, berry waffle cone is same name it is a repackage in a very wonderful new packaging um, and the same with uh, firecracker pop now, the Vanilla Confetti Sparkle, on the other hand, not only got a rebrand here, it got an updated name. So, Vanilla, it's Vanilla Confetti Sparkle is Confetti Cake Pop. Exact same set notes. I tested these out extensively. Um, these are the exact same scents, which is fine with me because I really liked um, Confetti Cake Pop. Um, I actually think I like it better than Christmas cookies. A lot of people think confetti cake pop and Christmas cookies is the same. I think it's a little different. I'll go over that. I feel like Christmas cookies is more of a Christmas scent. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, the packaging on this one, I love. I love the red. I think they did a really good job. The scent notes in this one are creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. It does smell like um, a vanilla cake pop. It really does. I love this scent. Um, last year, I think this came back. I want to say semi-annual sale. A lot of stores were getting these in, in the original packaging. So it has been back. Gosh, it does smell really good. I've been wearing this all day. I'm like, you know what? I miss confetti cake pop. Seriously. Um, the lasting power isn't super long. It's a vanilla scent. You got to reapply this like crazy. I will actually review um, the cream once I get my hands on that uh, at a later date. I actually ordered it today. Hopefully it comes soon. Um, and then this is the shower gel. It's so interesting to see this in red because <laughs> you don't think of it as like a red scent. I love the shower gel. I actually used this one last night. It's all over my lip. I love it. I really do. I think the shower gel is fabulous. I actually used up all of my confetti cake pop shower gel. So I was I was excited um, to have that back. So Christmas cookies, which comes out now every year. I didn't like the packaging this past year. It wasn't super um it wasn't super pretty. It was okay, but it wasn't anything special. I'm just noticing like there's Christmas balls. When you look through um 
this. I don't think I even noticed that last year, the Christmas balls. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Look at that. I'm like, are those cookies? No, it's Christmas balls. Um, this one is, and you can't even read this one, it is creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. Um, the difference with Christmas cookies is you get a very distinctive almond note. And I don't know, sometimes I think Christmas cookies is slightly nauseating. And I don't know why. There's just an odd, um, almost like vanilla scent. You know how some people don't like berry waffle cone? I don't always love Christmas cookies. I actually prefer... Vanilla Bean Noel, unfortunately, Vanilla Bean Noel has just been dismal on the throat. I mean, really, that's that's what I always call Vanilla Bean No Smell, because <laughs> it's been terrible, like, the past two years. If Bath & Body Works does anything this year, I really hope they rework the formula and they make Vanilla Bean Noel um, as strong as it was years ago, because we need that back um, in a strong scent. But, I don't know, Christmas Cookies is not one um, that I gravitate to. It's funny. I was talking about the Mary Madeline cookie um, when we were talking about the orange and the candles. And you know what? That would make such a good body care, I think. It's like a, an orange cookie. I mean, I would be fine if Snowy Citrus Swirl came back. But man, Mary Madeline cookie in a body care, I, I would be all over that. That would, uh, that would make me happy. So overall... Um, I think Bath & Body Works did a really smart thing, uh, bringing Vanilla Confetti um, Sparkle into the mix this year for 4th of July. I think it feels fresh. I think they're going to sell a lot of this. I mean, not everyone even bought Confetti Cake Pop years ago. You might have just discovered Bath & Body Works. Um, you might just, um, you know... I've missed it last time. I mean, it happens. There's so many suns floating around out there. My sister-in-law... Um, she actually took a Bath & Body Works break a little bit. She wasn't buying as much. And then I've been sending her a whole bunch of scent. And she's like, boy, I really missed out lately. <laughs> so she's like renewed excitement um, for Bath & Body Works. And it happens. So I am excited for everyone um, who has wanted to try Confetti K-Pop, couldn't get their hands on it, and now gets it with Confetti Sparkle. I got to tell you, I am 52 years old. And... Um, I love this whimsical design. I'm actually going to, uh, I need to clean my house, you guys. <laughs> I'm like, I got stuff everywhere. But in my bathroom, um, or bedroom, I want to put a little display up of all of these 4th of July scents because they're so cute. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love them. I think I'm going to go on a little red, white, and blue uh, kick for summer. I need to fix up my coffee bar. I got a whole bunch of cute stuff for that. I didn't do a coffee bar video for Easter. I should have done it. I didn't put out a lot this year. I just wasn't, um, I didn't have time. I just didn't have time. <laughs> but I always do, oh my gosh, my Halloween coffee bar. Can I just say, <laughs> I keep saying Halloween in all my videos lately. It's getting a little out of control here. <laughs> but um, I want to do like a summer um coffee bar motif. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. I'm excited it's back. It's not super strong, uh, but it's a nice scent for summer. So anyway, I will see you guys later. I get a candle review. Bye-bye.